Bristol County Sheriff Paul Haro taking state lawmakers and the media on a tour of the Ash Street Jail today. That's right. His goal is to get them to consider funding a feasibility study, which, if approved, would look into the possibility of shutting down the oldest running prison in the U.S. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock was on today's tour. He joins us now live in studio with what he saw today. Matt. Kayla Kim, the Ash Street Jail was built in 1888, and there have been calls by activists for years to shut it down. The sheriff says it will help save the department money without any layoffs. The Ash Street Jail has been a part of a lot of controversy over the past few years. It's, it's not the house of horrors that we've, uh, you might have heard about. Today, the newly elected Bristol County Sheriff, Paul Haro, giving both local lawmakers and the media a first-hand look inside of the facility as he shared his idea to close it. Try to move this operation to um, Dartmouth. A lot of challenges associated with that, though. Ash Street is currently housing roughly 100 inmates, all of which, for one reason or another, need to be sheltered in a single cell. But as it continues, continues to be the oldest running jail complex in the United States, Haro says it's time for change. Go back to Dartmouth. What I want to show you is the very large open spaces we have that I'd like to retrofit and build single cells in to replace this. The reasons for change highlighted by Haro, outdated and inefficient conditions, expenses associated with the upkeep of the 200,000 square foot facility, and lack of access to programming for inmates. But Haro says, I invited the state delegation over because to do this, I would need their help. After seeing both the Ash Street Jail and hearing Haro's pitch to possibly retrofit two sites on the Dartmouth complex, here's what lawmakers had to say. Say great to get a hands-on look at um, you know the, the practicalities of, of the, the, the project. Feasible from, from what I can tell today. It's really worth the legislators time looking at that. Um, and the sheriff's idea that uh, we might appropriate sufficient revenue to conduct a feasibility study, that's a good place to begin. And right now, this is nothing more than just an idea. But after touring the facilities, it appears Massachusetts lawmakers have a lot to think about moving forward. Reporting live in studio, Matt Paddock, 12 News. The new Bristol County Sheriff is proposing changes to two local facilities. Sheriff Paul Haro wants to close the Ash Street Jail in New Bedford and make changes to the former ICE detention facility in Dartmouth. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock got a tour of those facilities and joins us now in studio with the details. Matt? Well, under Sheriff Haro's proposed plan, the project wouldn't be finished until 2027. But today's tour was a chance to pitch to lawmakers the possibility of holding, holding a feasibility study. The Ash Street Jail. It's the oldest running prison in the United States and the center of plenty of controversy over the past few years. It's, it's not the house of horrors that we've, uh, you might have heard about. But Bristol County Sheriff Paul Haro pitching plans to possibly shut down the jail after over a century. A lot of challenges associated with that, though. Today, Haro giving both local state delegations and the media a first-hand look inside of both the Ash Street Jail as well as a few places he has in mind to replace the prison. Try to move this operation to... Um, Dartmouth. Ash Street is currently housing roughly 100 inmates, all of which, for one reason or another, need to be sheltered in a single cell. But as it continues to be the oldest running jail complex in the United States, Haro says it's time for change. Go back to Dartmouth. What I want to show you is the very large open spaces we have that I'd like to retrofit and build single cells in to replace this. His plan would involve either building 100 single cells at the former ICE detention center or even turning a former gymnasium inside of the Dartmouth prison into a place for inmates to stay. A proposed plan that he says would cost roughly five to ten million dollars, but claims could pay for itself within years. But he says the plan's not possible without the backing of lawmakers. Lawmakers like Chris Hendricks and Carol Doherty, who shared their thoughts after today's tour. Feasible from, from what I can tell today. It's really worth the legislators time looking at that um, and the sheriff's idea that uh, we might appropriate sufficient revenue to conduct a feasibility study that's a good place to begin and right now this is nothing more than just an idea but after touring the facilities it appears Massachusetts lawmakers have a lot to think about moving forward reporting live in studio Matt Paddock 12 news